In the vast galaxy of Star Wars, few relationships resonate more deeply than those that blur the line between the light and dark sides of the Force. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. I'm James. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that bell for all of our latest videos to stay up to date to all of our latest videos. Today we're talking Balin Skull. Balin and Shin Hati need to know more, need to see more, need to watch more of those characters. Can't wait to see where season two goes and maybe even beyond, which would be phenomenal. Let's get right into it. Let's tell the story of Balin Skull. Balin Skull's journey has been shrouded in mystery. From the very beginning, we've sensed that his quest for ancient power is not what it seems. He's been drawn to Peridia, an ancient place spoken of only in whispers. A location beyond the galaxy. But here's where things get dark. What if Balin Skull's quest isn't driven by his own free will? What if the whispers he's following are the seductive lies of the dark side itself? Think about it. Balin, a former Jedi turned mercenary, has tasted the darkness. But what if this true source of that power is manipulating him for its own ends? What if the ancient power he seeks is actually a trap set by an ancient cosmic force beyond even the Sith? Believing he's uncovering secrets to reshape the galaxy, he is actually a pawn in an ancient plot to release Abeloth, a chaotic dark side entity that seeks to consume everything. As Balin grows closer to his goal, Abeloth subtly takes control of Shin Hati. Shin Hati. The beginning is here. Balin's apprentice, with her cold demeanor and unflinching loyalty, followed Balin to Peridia. But what if her destiny is not just to be another Sith or Jedi, but something far worse? After Balin is inevitably consumed by the dark side's deception, Shin Hati could find herself alone, trapped in Peridia, a prisoner of fate. And what if through the suffering, rage, and the dark side's influence, she evolves into something? What if she finds a spring that the bandits, the bandits. call a font of power? while bathing in the pool of knowledge. What if she is Abeloth? Abeloth is a powerful being of chaos, a dark side force so twisted and so ancient, even the most feared Sith Lords tremble at her name. She is the embodiment of disorder and destruction, a literal force of nature that has the power to tear the galaxy apart. What if Shin Hati, broken, enslaved, and consumed by the dark side, awakens Abeloth's essence? She could be the key to unlocking this horror. Shin Hati, no longer herself, transformed into Abeloth, an unstoppable being unleashed upon the galaxy. She doesn't seek to rule like the Sith, no. She seeks to consume, to destroy. Balin Skull, in his hubris, thought he could control the power he was seeking, but little did he know the power was using him. All of this has been leading to Abeloth's return. Shin and Abeloth aren't so different. Their symbolism of chaos and destruction are similar. Abeloth is a chaotic, destructive force in the Star Wars universe known as the bringer of chaos and a being that seeks to destabilize the galaxy. She embodies the concept of uncontrollable power and disorder. Hati, in Norse mythology, is part of the mythological wolf duo that chases the sun and the moon, Skull and Hati. Hati represents the destructive, fateful force that heralds Ragnarok at the Norse end of the world. In this way, Hati is connected to chaos and destruction as part of the cosmic cycle. Abeloth represents an existential threat to the Force and the galaxy, causing widespread havoc and threatening the balance of the Force. Her presence is tied to a potential cataclysmic end, similar to an apocalypse in the Star Wars universe. Hati in Norse mythology is also linked to apocalyptic imagery. As his success is catching the moon during Ragnarok marks the end of the world and destruction of the current cosmic order. Abeloth constantly seeks power, consuming the life force and essence of others to maintain her influence and achieve godlike status. Her nature is predatory, feeding off others' energies. Hati, along with Skull, is forever chasing the moon across the sky. This endless pursuit is a central aspect of his mythological role, which his success in the chase signaling cataclysmic event. Abeloth is deeply tied to cosmic forces in the Star Wars universe, specifically as a dark entity connected to the balance of the Force, manipulating time and space to suit her needs. Hati and his counterpart are cosmic figures representing the natural cycles of time, day and night, and playing a part in the cosmic struggle that ends with Ragnarok.
Abeloth was once a mortal woman who transformed into a monstrous godlike figure after drinking from the font of power and bathing in the pool of knowledge. Her transformation led to her being trapped by the Celestials for eons, from which she continuously seeks escape. Hati, while not imprisoned in the same sense as Abeloth, is bound to his cosmic role in Norse mythology. His eternal chase is kind of a metaphoric imprisonment, locked in his destiny to pursue the moon until Ragnarok. Abeloth embodies the concept of darkness and corruption in Star Wars, as she corrupts minds and manipulates the Force in twisted ways. Hati is a creature of the night, often symbolized as darkness chasing the moon. His existence foretells the coming of an age of destruction associated with the twilight of the gods. Both Abeloth and Hati represent forces of chaos, destruction, and the end of eras in their respective mythologies. They are cosmic, predatory beings that seek power or fulfillment of their roles through destructive means, often connected to themes of apocalypse and inevitable cycles of cosmic events. Once unleashed, Abeloth through Shinth threatens to tear apart the fabric of the galaxy, turning Balin's misguided ambition into a nightmare of cosmic destruction. The next phase of the Star Wars saga could see the New Republic, the remnants of the Empire, and even the Jedi and Sith struggling to survive as Abeloth turns everything into chaos. Imagine the complete destruction of the galaxy as we know it. Her goal, not just control, but obliteration of the very balance of the Force. She wants to warp reality, destroy the Force itself, and reshape everything in her image. This could be the darkest chapter of Star Wars we've ever seen. Think about it. All the battles, all the wars, all the sacrifices of the past, all of it could pale in comparison to the utter devastation Abeloth could bring. And Shinhati, the quiet apprentice, could be the one to ignite this galactic inferno. But here's the chilling part. Abeloth isn't just some powerful villain. She is beyond understanding. She doesn't play by the rules of the Sith or the Jedi. She wants everything gone. So is Balin Skull being deceived by the dark side? Absolutely. He's being used just a pawn in the grand scheme of Abeloth's awakening. And Shinhati, she's destined to become the face of cosmic horror in Star Wars, the next great villain, or perhaps something far worse. And this is just the beginning. Star Wars is moving in a direction we've never seen before, a place where the Force itself could be destroyed. Could our hero survive, or are we witnessing the birth of a villain that even Shivp would fear? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may the force of others be with you.